In this video, we will continue to explore loops and recursion by coding a classic exercise you are likely to do during your job interview. It's called FISBUS. Now the exercise instructions are very simple. We are to display integers from 1 to 100, but every integer divisible by 3 should display word FIS, and every integer divisible by 5 should display the word BUS. So the output should look something like this. 1, 2, then number 3 is of course divisible by 3, so we'll display FIS, then 4, 5 is divisible by 5, so we display BUS, and so forth, then we have 14, and then number 15 is divisible by 3 and 5, so we'll display FIS bus. And we'll do it all the way to 100. So 99 will be FIS, because again, divisible by 3, and 100 will be BUS, because it's divisible by 5. All right, simple enough, right? So let's start with coding the solution using a simple loop first. So the first thing I'm just going to display that we are actually using a loop solution because later we will also code it with a recursion. So in order to display the numbers 1 through 100, we'll obviously use a for loop. And we are starting from number 1, not 0, so i equals 1. And then i, we want all the way up to 100 and include it 100, so less or equal to 100. We'll be looping from 1 to 100 and increase i by 1 with each iteration. So if we were just to display the numbers, all we would do is display the variable i. However, we need to display the words fizz and buzz depending on whether the number i is divisible by 3 or 5. And to do that, we are going to be using a mod operator. In other words, if the number is divisible by 3, meaning the result of the division is a whole number, the result of the mod operation will be 0. If it is not divisible, meaning the result is decimal number, or in, in other words, there is a reminder of the division, the mod operation will be the reminder of the division. And for our purposes, basically we'll take the mod operation, and if the result is anything other than 0, then we know that the number is not divisible and in our case, it's not divisible by 3 or 5. So let's do an if statement and simply do if i mod operator, which is the percentage symbol, if it's divisible by 3, in other words, if i mod 3 equals 0, then we'll display the word fizz. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare a variable above our for loop that will hold the actual text that we are going to be displaying. Remember, we are going to be displaying the word fizz, also the word buzz, and also i itself for all the numbers that are not divisible by 3 or 5. So I'll do a string and I'll call it text. So in our if statement, if the number is divisible by 3, our text will equal fizz. Else if the number is divisible by 5, so if the i mod 5 equals 0, then our text will equal the word buzz. Otherwise, we'll simply display the number itself. So we will do an else statement and display the i. So our text will equal i. However, i is an integer, so I need to convert it to string. Now, this would work. However, there's one condition that we are missing, and that's when the number is divisible by 3 or 5 like for example 15. So to check for this condition, we'll simply have to see if the i mod 3 equals 0 and also if the i mod 5 equals 0. If both these conditions are true, then we'll display fizzbuzz. Now, we have to position that on the top before the other two conditions. And that's because this is the least likely condition. If we come to 15, and we have the condition coded here, let's just do that. Else if the i mod 5, actually mod 3 first, equals 0, and the i mod 5 equals 0, then our text will equal fizzbuzz. Now you can already see that there's a problem with it, 
And that's because the first condition will be true before this one is true. In other words, if we come to number 15, we'll check if 15 is divisible by 3, and it is. So text will equal this, and all the other conditions will be skipped. Therefore, like I said, this has to be our first condition. So I'm going to copy paste this and place it on the top. So this is our first condition, so it's going to be our if statement, and everything else will be else if. And finally, the last remains as else, which is the number itself that we are displaying. Now we could also simplify this. If the i mod 3 equals 0 and i mod 5 equals 0, we can simply check if i mod 15 equals 0. And that's because 3 times 5 is 15. So every number that is divisible by 3 and 5 has to be divisible by 15. So for example, 15 or 30 and so forth. So this is our condition within our loop. And then, still within our loop, we will display the text that is being assigned during our if statements. All right, let's run it and see what we get. All right, so here's the for loop solution. And you can see we have number 1, 2, and number 3 displays this. Then we have 4, number 5 displays bus. Number 6, again divisible by 3, so it displays this and so forth. And you can see that number 15 has this bus. Also number 30 has this bus. And when we scroll down, we, we can see that we have 98, and then 99, which is this because it's divisible by 3, and bus because that's obviously divisible by 5. Now before we go, let me just show you how to do it if you wanted it backwards, if you want to display from 100 to 1. And it's very simple, our condition will not change, we'll simply change the condition within our loop. So i will now equal to 100, because that's where we are starting from, we're displaying numbers from 100, and we are displaying numbers as long as i is greater or equal to 1. However, since we are displaying from 100 to 1, instead of i++, plus plus, we are decreasing i from 100 all the way to 1, so we need to do i minus minus. So if I run it now, you can see that we're starting from 100, which is bus, then this is 99, 98, 97, and so forth. You can see that 75 is this bus because it's divisible by 3 and 5, so it's 60. And when we scroll down, you can see we have 3, 2, and 1, and 3 is obviously this. So this is our loop solution, and in the next video, we are going to display the output using recursion. So I'll see you in the next video.